Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving in deep to the world of Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye. So buckle up for safety, because it's about to be a bumpy ass ride. That's right. Tonight we got a few things here, so big shout out to John. Thank you, John, for sending in the samples uh, to help with this. Could not have done this great review without you. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate it. John sent us a sample of the 2020 Jack Daniels Special Release Rye, Barrel Proof Rye, right? Ho oh, ho, look out! He also sent us a uh, just a shelf bottle of the new Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye from 2023. That's in this blind. Also in this blind, my bottle of Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye shelf bottle picked up in the desert state of New Mexico. This one comes in at 133.2 proof. Compute, compute, 66.6% .6 alcohol by volume, as you can tell. We have enjoyed this one quite a bit. I did review this one already, so I'll link it above uh, just to review of this. Very good. Uh, you should definitely buy one for around MSRP. Also, should be widely available. Remember that. Now, a newer acquisition. There's another Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye, but a store pick from our friends at Bourbon Street Wine and Spirits. In Phillipsburg, New Jersey, near the Home Depot, as people say. So, one of the very few store picks to be done this year of the Barrel Proof Rye. Um, there were some, not a lot. Not a lot. This one also comes in at exactly the same. 133.2, 66.6% alcohol by volume. Price on these was a hundred doll hairs. A little high. You know, I'll say this about Bourbon Street. Generally an awesome selection, good people to talk to. They can charge a little much sometimes for a few bottles. And they were like trying to hide this one in the back. Like they didn't really want to sell it to me when I was there. A little weird, um, considering I support the store quite a bit. But whatever. All jokes aside, they did have some of these. Um, one of the few stores in the Northeast to get a store pick. So, now, what's interesting about the store picks, we got to talk about this. There is an article on bourbonculture.com, not f affiliated with them. Never really read any of their crap either before, to be honest, but you should go check it out. It's a good article about the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye. It is well believed that the Jack Daniels in 2020, the special release, was around seven years old when they sold it in 2020. That's what it was around seven years old. It was believed it was taken from like the top of the Rick House, kind of like a little rye koi hill if you will um probably why it was so good you know but when another you know bourbon culture i guess went on a store pick with somebody else whatever but the barrels they could pick from were between like 6.75 and like 7.25 years old so that and we know and we know that jack daniels store picks are always older than their shelfers so we kind of all assumed the shelvers were probably around five years old, maybe six. The store pick barrel proof rise are like, could be seven or a little bit older than seven or like right under seven, which would mean that buying a store pick Jack Daniels barrel proof rye could get you on par or better or right below a Jack Daniels 2020 special release that people are charging four or $500 on secondary for. And you should probably, you, you should be able to pick one up for about 70 doll hairs. You know, maybe a minor upcharge for a store pick. So, store picks will become more available in the future. Uh, for this year, they're pretty limited. Um, bottom line is the shelvers, A-plus rating from Bourbon Bill. But tonight, they're all in a blind. Two shelf barrel-proof fries, that store pick, and John's sample of the 2020 special release are in this blind. Poured by my lovely wife, Rita. So, let's see which one wins tonight. 
What bottle could it be? Let's dive in. First up in the red. Now, I want to say that these are all going to be A++ buys, probably, from Bourbon Bill. But let's see if we can discern any differences and if I like one more than the other. The red glass. Let's give it a sniff. Just maple. Just, oh, pancake syrup for days. Maple, oh, just maple and cream, baby. I don't get much banana. I get, like, a little bit of char in there. A little bit of brown sugar. Maybe the faintest hint of banana if I really dig deep. It's very just confectioner sugar and maple and cream. I wouldn't even say this is a rye based on the nose. Let's take a sip. Ooh, she's hot. Ooh. Maple up front, confectioner sugar, the rye spice does come through in there in the middle of that heat. A little bit of banana on the back end. So kind of just what I described basically oh, on the nose is what I got in the palate. Very enjoyable. For 70 doll hairs, roughly. Some places are upcharging right now, but as time goes on, they're going to be more available. For 70 doll hairs, what a steal of a rye. All right, the black. Let's give it a nosing. Oh, this has a little bit. This kind of smells like Koi Hill-esque. It's got that just like essence of barrel note in here. A little bit of, a little bit of fruit. A lot of barrel char. I mean, just a ton of barrel char on this. Again, the faintest hint of banana, even less in the red. Wow, it's kind of, it's, this reminds me of Coy Hill, honestly, on the nose. Let's take a sip. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, that's thicker on the mouth feel, smoother. You get a little bit of banana up front, tons of barrel char, just like barrel characteristics. The maple and the rye spice integrate at the end. It's just sweeter. More flavors delivered without excessive heat. Even though these are roughly all the same proof. Um, so that's interesting. Could be indicative of an older age. Next up, the blue. Now this also smelled... They all smell pretty similar. Honestly, I know these are rye's. You can barely tell these are rye, at least to my palate. Like, there's bourbons that have more rye spice integrated into them than this. It's just, and there's a lot of rye. This was like 70% rye or something. I mean, there's just like, what's going on? Jack Daniels just, everything just tastes like bananas and deliciousness, you know? All right, nose on the blue. This has more banana, a little bit less barrel char. The maples dial back a little bit. I get a little bit of a caramel note, though, on this one. Let's take a sip. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if because the proof's getting to me now, but I get, like, a... Not a lot of banana up front. It's, it is a little bit smoother than the red glass. A little bit like red fruit candy-ness going on right in the middle there. Um, and then it ends with a lot of caramel. So, on the sweeter side, very good. I would say that's probably my number one or two. I have to back and forth them. But that's that's up there. That's real good. And it has like the barrel characteristics too. It, that, that's a very, that's a complex pour. Alright, the green... Oh, probably the most banana of the night. Just like, whew, banana foster, cream of bananas, baby. Bananas foster, some might say. The barrel char notes are just dialed back. This this brings the banana and rice spice kind of inter, intermixing here, which is pretty nice, I must say, on the nose. Let's take a sip. Just absolutely 
sweet banana and cream. Um, probably the sweetest of the bunch. 50 times more banana than the rest. Boy, that's good. So, without knowing which one's which, there's some variation here, obviously, on the single barrels. Gotta say. Um, this felt a little bit hotter than the blue and the black. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say the green and the red are the shelfers. And the blue and the black are probably the store pick and the 2020 special release. That's the best guess I'm going to have. So I'm going to go off camera here and rank these. And I'll come back to you with my results. All right. And we're back with my rankings and results. So I went back through these off camera. Order didn't really change much. Kind of solidified my thoughts originally. So the red was just a little more like heat and astringent. Good flavor, good flavor, but just had extra heat that didn't really add to the flavor. That's why it got last, but still an A plus buy. So fourth place, A plus rating and a buy from Bourbon Bill. Keep that in mind. The green, all bananas and cream, less complex, but really good flavor is what it delivered. The blue and the black were pretty close. Uh, the blue delivered kind of like this very nice like fruity note in the middle and it was a little bit smoother, not the heat, delivered high flavor. The black was actually a tad more complex and delivered a little bit more barrel char and a little bit less fruit, but overall it was the most complex, which is why I picked those number one. Let's find out together. Got the answer key right here. All right, so in last place, red would have been John Shelfer, coming in at 137.7. No wonder she was stonking hot, John. <laughs> Less than three proof points off from Hazmat. Boy, that was delicious. Um, that got last place, still an A-plus absolute buy. Third place was the green, which was my shelf pick up from New Mexico at 133.2 proof. So, okay, good buy on my part. Pat on the back. All right, so in first place in the black is the Bourbon Street Store pick, which means second place was a 2020 special release. Whoa, look out. So, if you have a 2020 special release and you bought it at MSRP, you paid $69.99, 70 doll hairs back in 2020. Great investment, great rye, great rye whiskey, fantastic. But you can, for about the same money today, potentially get a store pick that's better. So don't go out and pay four, five hundred dollars on secondary for a 2020 special release rye. Those values just plummeted. Dang it, that ain't delicious. But that's not all. So most of you know, one of my favorite Jack Daniels is obviously the barrel proof of bourbon. And I mean bourbon when I say it. Store pick from Creston's Wine and Spirits number three. Special shout out to Rob, who like literally had this on his shelf and he, you know, he said, Bourbon Hill, you want it, come get it. You know, so thanks again, Rob. I drank through my Crescent's Wine and Spirits number three store pick because it was the best store pick bourbon from Jack Daniels I've had ever. Uh, and I've had several. This was the best one ever. It's older. It is older by the characteristics in it. So I, it is refilled. I have a new one. So thank you again, Rob. Let's compare that to these ryes. Here's the bourbon. Lord, help me, that's good. Oh my god. That's as close as you can come to Koi Hill without buying a Koi Hill. Um, for those who don't know, Crescent's Wine and Spirits is in Delaware. This number three pick by the taste it is it is kind of close to koi hill it's not red this one comes in at 131.2 proof so it's not that hazmat 
red color of Koi Hill. But it's all just like barrel char, barrel characteristics, like some caramels, marshmallow in there, very little banana. So as Jack ages, it loses the banana note. This is an A++++ hitter, and is like Koi Hill light. Because once my Koi Hill bottle's gone, it's gone. You know, and I'm not spending the $600 to get another one, so this is the closest we're going to get. There are picks, and again, it's the only pick I've had that's come close, that are much older and, and, and close to the to the Koi Hill. So they do exist. This is one of them. Uh, Color-wise, this is darker than other picks I've had. Keep that in mind. What a fantastic bottle. So, that's dang good. Now, let's compare that to the pick of the rye. What's better, the bourbon or the rye? Gosh, it's like, which kid do you like more? You know? Oh, man. I'm going to have to go split decision here. The rye has more just like that maple character. I love maple. It just has more of that maple characteristic to it with the rye spice. But the bourbon just heavy on that char marshmallow note. It's almost mood dependent. But I'm here to say, look, bottom line, if you're buying Jack Daniels, find a store pick for the love of God. They are always older and always better than the shelfers. And the shelfers are top tier. The shelfers are top tier bourbon. So if you find a store pick, generally you don't pay that much more than a shelfer. And you're getting older juice. And it's just, it's another level higher in the bourbon uh, world. Or rye world. So if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button everyone. Thanks. Have a good evening.